Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how to composite a CGI objects into your footage. We have tracked the footage and I have already made a tutorial on how I made this scene. I'm not going through tracking and all of the stuff. I'm just going to show you how to composite your 3D or CGI objects into footage because some of you have commented on my previous video that and how to composite those objects because some of you having problem. I think you don't understand. You may don't understand compositing in Blender, but in this video, you will learn the basic of compositing and also on how to composite your footage into or sorry and how to composite your CGI objects into a real footage. So first thing first you gotta do is to make sure that uh, your rendering settings is perfect I made a cycle render because it worked perfect I'm gonna I made a GPU compute I made the simple 200 you can make it um, uh, higher if you want to have a high resolution and also under film I checked transparent and that's it and make sure that while tracking your scene you must have the same resolution and frame rate as the footage how it will help you to have an accurate track so this is what I'm going to tell you about rendering. Now the main thing starts. We are we're gonna have we're gonna have a talk about compositing. We're gonna we're gonna show you how things work. So let me just render out an image. Let's see what we get. I know my English is not good, but I hope you understand me. Uh, so here it's rendering. Um, it's rendering faster because I'm using GPU. My GPU is not uh, that much powerful, but it does work. You know for some limits and let's render it out and see what we have so mainly our footage is rendered let's go to compositing and see what we can do with this rendered image so let me just cross it so when you come to compositing tab you will see that we have uh, those node you might don't have because you have to click use node and you will see you have these two nodes connected to each other one is render layer and one is composite composite node is the final node which allows you to get all of those nodes and compile them and make you a final result or you can call it a final render composite is a node that the blender understand it as a final output you know because you may have so many nodes in between and compiling them together have makes any result which is compiled by compositor and composite node is just simply as that okay and the render layer node is you taking this scene here and also the layer from here and you know allow it allows you to, to bring your 3d scene into into your composite and that's it now uh, how to check that uh, we have rendered an image and how to see what we have so in order to see your rendered image you can come to output click weaver node and connect this image with the weaver node and you will be able to see what you have rendered out so the question is and how to composite footage into it what the weaver node do it just show you the preview of the shot and it doesn't do anything else than that okay so it's just very simple but how to composite your footage in order to composite footage with the cgi objects you can just add an input which is called a movie clip it's just so simple okay now select the footage from here that you have used for tracking you can also go to the directory if you wanna go there if you don't have it here then you can just select it from your directories okay so now we have movie clip here how to compose them that we are the footage will be in the background and the cgi object will be in front in order to do that, you can add a node called alpha over node, which allows you to uh, set the the position, or you can call it the the position of uh, those two. One is from render layers, and one is a movie clip. Okay, so this is alpha over node. If I connect these into the top node, and if I connect it to the bottom one, and now in order to see it, we need to connect it to the Weaver node directly from here. And now we have a footage but the problem is cgi object is gone it's because we need to invert these stone nodes in order to see what we have so i'm going to invert them blah yeah it's working and yeah it is composited but it's just connected into a weaver node in order to see it in composite you can connect the, the image directly into composite in order to have this in the final render also and that's it this is just very simple you can use the same rule for every shot 
If you run, if you track it with Blender, Blender automatically create composite node, which are very messy. And I think it's not a great option to use Blender default compositing setup for motion tracking. You can just copy the same setup that I have done. Yeah, you will, you will have a flexibility of doing different things with the Blender default compositing system for tracking. But I think you, if, if you've seen this that much simple, simple, then you can just go for this simple setup. It's super easy. So I hope you understand my videos and I hope you like it. So share it with your Blender artists, friends, and you know, uh, I just don't want to say anything else. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.